Okay, I wanted to do, a, do another video today because uh, this question comes up in a lot of forums I'm a member of, uh, specifically wheel gun forums, and it is about the specific finish for some of the Colt revolvers. Uh, normally revolvers in the 70s and the 80s that they produced, specifically the MK3s and the Pythons I know came in this finish for a few years. They didn't run it through every year. Uh, some were special runs, but this is a electroless nickel finish or an e-nickel or even later they called it a Colt Guard finish. Uh, it looks a lot like stainless, but it's not. It's actually a nickel finish. Um, and so it gets confused a lot and people don't really know what to do with these revolvers. They don't know much about them. So I kind of just wanted to highlight uh, that these were an option and uh, on the MK3s and at least on the Pythons. I'm not sure if any of the other snake guns came in this finish as well. I haven't seen them, but I'm sure they may have offered it for a year or two. Um, but it is a finish. It's not stainless. And... Uh, so it, it does exist. Uh, they're a little more rare, but they're not quite as desirable. I think just because people don't really know about them. Uh, they're pretty resistant uh, as far as uh, a finish goes to wear. I've had a lot of wear on my standard nickel guns, but this one has survived a lot of rounds uh, and still looks pretty good. I mean, this is uh, an early 70s gun, and uh, it's had a lot of rounds through it. A lot of 357, a lot of 38. And it still looks pretty good. You can see some wear points on it, uh, specifically here on the barrel. And then even on the cylinder, you can see a little bit here. But it's, it's worn very well. Uh, no, you know, uh, no big finish wears on it. It hasn't come off uh, like some of the other nickel plating uh, that I've had on, like, say, my Model 19 uh, that actually came off on the cylinder just from shooting it so much. Um, it, this hasn't flaked at all, so it, it's been pretty durable, and uh, I really like it. I think it looks really good. These are the grips that came with it, so uh, a lot of people think that most of these MK3s came with wood grips only, and that's actually not true. So uh, these actually, these rubberized grips with the Colt emblem, if I can get that to zoom in or focus, are actually what came on the gun. And I think that's the truth, or the same uh, grips that came with the Python as well uh, in this finish. So if you see that, those are actually original for that as well. And I'm pretty sure that's all they came with. I don't think they came with the wood grips um, for, or the wood target grips for the electroless finish. Now the MK3 was produced by Colt from 1969 until 1982. Um, it basically replaced the Colt Trooper and Trooper 357, which were built on the Colt I-frame. This was a smaller frame uh, that Colt came out with, which was the J-frame. They made other improvements as well. Um, they used a uh, new safety system basically on it. Uh, instead of the hammer block design, um, they used a, uh, a basically an internal transfer bar on it, so it made it a little bit safer. And you have to basically pull the trigger all the way to the rear uh, for the firing pin uh, to lay home on a round. So it's a little different. It does not have the same action as the pythons. The pythons uh, continued on the same frame as the troopers, which was the I frame. So the action's a little different on it. I find the action to be a little bit uh, less smooth. It's a the double action is pretty heavy, and it's not quite as smooth a, as a Python or even an older Trooper. Um, but it's still good, and the single action is excellent. I've always found the Colt single actions were were just perfect, um, and I, I like the Smiths for their double actions. Um, but you know, it's been a great revolver. Uh, I've put you know probably close to a thousand rounds through it. And it's just been excellent. It, it handles recoil very well. Um, the frame size is just about perfect. I love this frame size for the Colts, and I love the K frames for the Smith and Wesson. So if you like the K frames, you know I would definitely suggest uh, picking one of these up. They're getting up there in price a little bit. Um, I think I paid. I want to say 
400 bucks for this about four or five years ago and uh, they're going for probably close to around six to eight hundred dollars right now and uh, I'm sure they'll keep climbing climbing just like the pythons uh, but it's been a great revolver and uh, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there that hey this was a finish that was offered by Colt um, and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below thanks for watching